Hi there, it's Kathy at One Sweet Shop. I'm going to show you a couple more journals that I've had finished. These have been finished actually for quite a while, and I was just waiting to trim the all these little um, dangles and stuff on the spine and to maybe add a few more pieces of lace and stuff. So they've been kind of sitting waiting for me. And this one's Santa's Toy Shop. I'm going to do a little quick flip through just to show you. These are going into my uh, Etsy store at the Happy Scrap Bits. Uh, this one is from, this is Santa's Toy Shop, it's from 1950, and uh, this is all the different, the different uh, elements that you're going to get inside of this journal, there's pockets, and some are sewn and some are just glued, um, so I've kind of used both methods in this journal. There's a few little envelopes, there's little belly bands, and all sorts of pretty little embellishments here and there. There's a couple little flips of uh, fabric if you want to put some tabs on this journal you could a little kitty there she's so adorable she's actually from a vintage a vintage card yeah she's beautiful uh there's a little this is a little coaster napkin and she's just about falling apart but she's quite old and i thought i'd stick her in there she's so cute I don't know what pack that came out of anymore. This was from Digital Collage Club. I do believe I printed that from. So these are different little elements that go into this, this journal. And everything can be taken out. I've paper clipped everything in. Uh, well, at least pretty much of it. Here's a checking it list. This is a little doily, a fabric doily there that's in there. I've kind of paper clipped everything in. I've added uh, reinforcers to some of these rings here just to give it some extra strength. And there's a little baby, bedtime baby bear. There's Santa. This is from Gift Wrap. Different little tags that are in here for you to write on. Maybe you can record this Christmas's antics and fun and merriment that you're having. Some more little pictures. And then I, I made this embellishment on my computer for this little Santa's workshop tag. So that's an original. Um, let me see. This has a little band to just stuff the cards underneath so you can fill it up with cards that you get. Here's another embellishment I created on the computer. Um, different little different little embellishments I just put here and there and you can tuck all sorts of stuff. A little envelope to fill up with all your memories. Here's some more little, this is a vintage kitty cat too. I think this is from a storybook page. Oh, some child wrote on it. But that's okay. It's a good thing it's on the back. I think this is from a sewing, sewing pattern book. I think I cut that from a sewing pattern book. So these pages are all pretty. Um, these are made from cardstock. Some of the pages are heavier. And then some of the pages are just like copy paper. So you'll have both types in here. So there's some more little ephemera pieces. Just little decorative tags. I like the laces, I diff different types of laces. I just kind of went through my lace box and found some goodies for this, this journal. Here's some more little half flip. And then this little lace is just sitting there. You could tuck a tag under it if you want. A little, I cuddle bug this with my cutter and made some little pockets here. It looks like I have to fix this little piece here. So I might do that before it goes out. They've been around for a while. They've been on my shelf. And again, I put a handmade with love sticker on the end. They're a little Christmas tree in the end. This is a vintage Santa too. So the covers are in pretty good shape uh, for it being as old as it is. Like it's 73 years old or so. Um, and so the covers were great. I put a little bit of washi tape where it looked like the cover was fraying a little bit. I put a little bit of washi tape on the edges and it seems to be holding quite well actually. I put a little extra glue when I put them on. So I may do that with a lot of the other little golden books where I see that they've got some wear and tear on them. This one maybe had a little bit of an a little bit of a rubbing right there probably from use. So but I'm gonna leave that. That just adds to the appeal of a vintage little golden book. So I'm gonna show you another one. Uh, do I have one? Oh yes I do. That one's going into my Happy Scrap Bits store. This is the Christmas story. I did this one quite a long time ago, too. This one is actually a cinch-bound book. And I put lace around the edges of this one. So I think that it probably wasn't as in best shape because look at the book. It's a little faded here in the book, just from use and stuff. This one's from 1952, it says. So and this one has pockets, and of course everything is just... This I used a dragonfly glaze. It's called dragonfly glaze, and it's almost iridescent on there. It's just beautiful. 
And I put that on some of the tags. Here's another little girl. And the story of heaven. A little poetry there. Cards in the pockets here. And this is the story of Mary and, and Joseph and Jesus. I made little tags, little sticker tags out of... Um, uh, these are 2012, so they're about 11 years old. These little stickers from uh, Easter Seals, I think they are. Something like that. Different little cards and stuff I've inserted into this journal. Of course, this journal has pockets also. In some of the pages, I put some pockets so you have places to put. This is a really vintage decoration. I can't even remember where it's, when it's from. But it's like a Santa Claus holiday decoration or something. You fold it out and make it. It's really cute. And then I found a bunch of Denison stickers in my stash. And I thought, well, I'm going to put them inside, tuck them inside of this journal. And you can use it in different places in the journal. And they're really quite pretty. Those are vintage. This is a collage car card I made. I was think I was going to stick a flower on. But I think I'll leave that for someone. They might want to stick a sticker there or something. And some more little tags. Some of the paper is plain. And some is. Here's another collage card I made. Um... And some of this is just a uh, scrapbook paper, uh, like a copy scrapbook paper. And this is different little poetry. There's some penguins in there. And this is the story of uh, the birth of baby Jesus. So this is a really nice, that's pretty. That's a little card. And here's some more poetry there. And then this was, I think this might have been part of a card too at one time. Look at the ornamental cards here. These are so pretty. Oh, and let me pull that over so you can see these. They're so pretty, and then there's something in here. Oh, this is beautiful. Grace, mercy, and peace. I sure hope that uh, everyone wasn't missing everything that was on these journals because my camera was not in focus. But I'll just do a little flip. Everything is paper clipped in again. Put it anywhere you like in the journal. I didn't fasten down a lot of this stuff. I left it, I left it uh, out so that you can put it where you like. Everyone can create their own their own journal from this the legend of the candy cane i bet you that's that's probably real i think this is the only um oh the shape is j for jesus i think that's the only poem or the little legend thing that i have so i think this was a an appropriate journal it looks like i had put some paper clips on here and it's the problem with some of these really old paper clips they really kind of bite into the page because they're made stiffer this looks like little candy storehouses in here, little tags. They're really cute. So this is really adorable. A little pocket in there. More of the book page. Here's some more card stock page and a card. And everything is, here's one of those little um, napkin doilies. It's really cute. And a little uh, paper clip button. Button with a paper clip. More little cards in there. So there's lots and lots of places to write. You could turn this into a prayer journal for Christmas. It could be for your notes. You can make notes about Christmas. You can write some of your favorite Christmas songs or some of your favorite Christmas memories. And there's another tag I collaged. So there's lots of different, and there's rooms still on here that you can add more of your own ideas to. So these turned out really good. I don't think I had done a flip of these, so it's probably a good idea that I'm doing it now. I'll make a very quick flip for Etsy. I think we're only allowed 15 seconds, so you really... This is some more of those tags with the dragonfly glaze on it. And they're just iridescent. They just shine. So pretty. So you can add your own little um, tag toppers or whatever to those. What color is that? That's pretty. And some more Christmas paper and handmade with love on it. So so this one is ready to go too. And it's a beautiful little journal filled with tags. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. And uh, I'll see you again. I think I have a few more yet. Okay, bye-bye.